Yo, 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 what's good? It's Cardiac Kane. Going straight in with this, man. Today we got a lot to talk about, man. You know, we're going to talk about haters and congratulators. Supporters or non-supporters. You know what I'm saying? Um, real and fake. Uh, got a lot to talk about, man. So thank y'all for joining me. But before we get in, I want y'all to hit that like button and subscribe, man. I need y'all support. Because if you here, you either here because you support or you come in here to hate and investigate. You know what I'm saying? That's what it is. So um, I'm pretty sure you come in here to support the realness and, and salute the realness and just find out what's going on on my day-to-day -day and what's real. So hit that like and subscribe button, man. And we're going straight in. Let's go. All right. Right now, we're going to talk about, man, in life, you got haters and you got congratulators, man. Plain and simple, man. People going to hate you for whatever you do. You know what I'm saying? It could be the man right next to you, man. You could be putting a plate up there for him to eat, man. And the whole time, he hating because his plate small and your plate big. But you the one providing the plate. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? And you ain't never would think in a million years that this person would be the one to be hating on you. But this person might know your inner workings, everything. You know what I'm saying? You got to be careful who you let into your circle. You feel me? And, and with that, we're going to talk about the Kodak Black and Young Boy situation. You know, years ago, um, Kodak Black befriended Young Boy, and they had a pretty tight bond. I'm pretty sure y'all remember when um Kodak when Kodak Black had Young Boy to his house come down there, and I mean Young Boy, this poor Young Boy really took off, and Young Boy was just um saluting everything about Kodak. I mean, he was even, if you go back to the clip where he talking about, hey, um, Kodak Black, if you think he's something, if you think he bad, Kodak Black, way he worse. You know what I'm saying? He Kodak Black was like a big brother to him. Somewhere along the lines, channels got crossed. Um, I'm not sure if it was from the female or if it was from just um, young boy excelling. You know what I'm saying? But Somewhere along the lines, the um, channels got crossed, man. Um, I know it, it was a little something going on between why Kodak Black was locked up. It was a little something going on with um, NBA Youngboy Camp and Jack Boy. But I'm not sure if that's exactly what was the root of everything. But uh, it's been tension for a little minute, man. And as of late, um, salute to the success of uh, the last Slimito, Young Boy's latest album. Young Boy just done took off to a whole nother stratosphere. Kodak Black done let um, a lot of uh, jail time and just a lot of stumbles in his career hinder his elevation. It hasn't stopped it, but it hindered it. You know what I'm saying? And I understand the frustration with him. But one thing about us uh, Floridians, we're going to speak what's on our mind. We don't care if uh, we don't care if you salute it or you don't salute it. You know what I'm saying? Um, we're going to speak what's on our minds. And that's just plain and simple. And with Kodak, uh, that's what's going on. He might doesn't agree with everything what's going on with, with young boy. And he's voicing his opinion. You know what I'm saying? And young boy just done flat out let it be known. Like, hey, if you don't like my fans, then I don't like you. You know what I'm saying? P-U-S-S-Y. And when young boy end up making that tweet, that comment in that tweet, you know Kodak Black knew exactly who he was talking to. The whole world knew who, who he was talking to. And, um, uh, I knew Kodak was going to respond. Everybody knew Kodak was going to respond. As he should. And Kodak Black responded. And let him know. That he got. um, He with all the smoke. And he got 
big monkey uh, nuts. You know what I'm saying? And he just inviting the smoke. Kodak ready to crash about his respect. But I just want Kodak to know that it's chess, not checkers. You know what I'm saying? Young boy has excelled and reached the heights that he did by putting everything in his music. I mean, his following and uh, his homeboys from where he from or whatever, um, that 4K trade or, or whatever it is, they going to ride for him. But as for young boy, young boy done stuck to the music. And he put out a lot of content. And I think that's what Kodak should do. Instead of going on live and Twitter and Instagram, voicing his opinions about things, he needs to let the music speak. The music speaks for itself. And uh, get back in the game. Start putting out high content. Uh, start letting your um, your sniper game and your uh, KTB artist excel. Put them on the platform. It doesn't matter if they even reach heights that you never did. You need that for the growth that you're trying to achieve. You know what I'm saying? If you're trying to win at this game of life in this music industry uh, and you trying to stay relevant, that's what you should do. It's not um that that might be the reason why you and um Jack Boy didn't work out all the way. I understand Kodak and I understand Jack Boy. Um But like I said, somewhere in, in, in between all that, you gotta learn, man. It's a thin line between hating and congratulating. Sometimes you gotta know when to salute, when to um not let your emotions get the best of you. You know what I'm saying? And, and that's what's going on to me. Um, Kodak letting his emotions show uh, and things like that. And he should stick to the music. Get back into the music. I understand you had Super Gremlin, um, but it don't stop there. I understand you was with um, Kendrick Lamar, uh, uh, Mr. Morale and the Big Steppers. That was a big move. But don't let that be your ceiling. Um, get back to the grind. And this is Art of War. Like, I notice a lot of things in the game. Most people might not notice. But young boy does um, emulate some of the things. He learned some of the things from Kodak Black. Like, just um, now that he reached his height in the music, now um, with his last album, uh, I, I noticed the similarities. Young boy done cut his dreads off. They'll switch the braids. That's a tactic that um, Kodak Black always did. Um, whenever Kodak Black drop a project or whenever Kodak Black finish his, um, um, his point or, or drop a project and, and he likes to switch it up, keep artists and keep the world on their feet. He'll go from a, a low fade to a fro to dreads to um, boonks. Um, to the to the Kodak fade, um, and it keeps he'll switch up the grills. Um, he'll do it all, so you're engaged. You're always engaged. You're never getting comfortable with him because he's unpredictable. And I, I noticed that in this art of war, young boy is emulating those same things. But he's on a higher platform, so you might miss those things. You know what I'm saying? And he know that type of stuff a tick. Uh, get up under Kodak Black skin. So this is Art of War at its finest. If you understand it, then you know what I'm talking about. If you don't, it's probably going to go right over your head, man. But um, it's all about congratulators and haters, man. You know what I'm saying? Is Kodak the hater? Or is young boy the hater? Tell me what you think, man. Leave a comment below, man. And let me know. Am I just uh just talking? Or do I uh, am I laying down some valid points? Leave a comment below and let me know. You know? But we're going to get more into this, man. Stay tuned, man. Cardio Lifestyle. Cardio Kane.
E aí, 